Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about top uh, medical colleges without NEET. We all know that NEET exam, that is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test, is compulsory for joining MBBS and BDS colleges in India. Now we have a question: Is it possible to join medical college without NEET? Of course, it is possible because uh, there is lot of competition for joining MBBS and BDS seats in India. If you look at the statistics by 2022, uh, around 16 to 18 lakh students uh, write NEET exam, but number of MBBS and BDS seats available in India are just 83,275 seats. By 2022, 83,275 MBBS seats are there, but 17 to 18 lakh uh, NEET aspirants write this exam. That means. all will not get the chance to join mbbs or bds that means what is the proportion of uh, seats and uh, as neat aspirants writing neat in india at present by 2022 for one mbbs seat 19 to 20 students are writing neat exam that means out of 20 students only one student will get the opportunity to join mbbs then what remaining 19 students should do whether they can't join mbbs no it is not true they can join top medical colleges if not mbbs or bds there are some courses available uh, which will equally pay as doctors so today we are going to discuss courses available to join top medical colleges in india without neet okay so without neet means without writing neet they can join top medical colleges and they'll be getting almost equal salary as doctors get i'm going to discuss 30 different courses in medical college without neet before i start discussing these 30 courses available without neat you should know uh, what will be the salary paid or what will be the income what they get after joining generally they say they'll be getting around 70% of doctor salary like whatever doctors get every month around 70% of their salary uh, these if you join these courses you will get but that is not true at present if you join these courses you can earn more than what doctors earn okay so and these courses are without neat you can join so let us start with these courses i hope you are interested to know these courses the first course is you get degree that is bachelor's in anesthesiology and intensive care technology so you know uh, at least in the hospitals you have heard of anesthetist he is a specialist uh, in giving anesthesia you know anesthesia means uh before surgeons start operation patient should not feel pain during operation that's why they'll be given anesthesia you know this there will be specialized uh, doctors they are called anesthetist you know for just uh, one operation they take around 30 to 40000 rupees like for that in a day they go for around 8 to 10 hospitals so that uh, you know you can imagine around 3 to 4 lakhs per day they earn so if you join these courses you will be assisting these doctors uh, you know what is the importance of anesthesia if you think even the top surgeon famous surgeon like think cardiologist famous heart specialist before he operates he has to wait for the anesthetist that is the importance of anesthetist okay so you will be joining these courses so that you will be assisting the anesthetist so that you will be paid very high salary and these courses you are joining without need and it is not only anesthesiology this is bsc or bachelor's in anesthesiology and intensive care uh, intensive care technology you know in uh, hospitals we talk about icu that is intensive care unit so patient should be observed every second so that much importance is there so if you go for if you join these courses you will be getting very high salary and these courses are without need okay so second one is bachelor's in tv audiometric technology this is audiometry means you know audio means sound so if the person is deaf so if he can't hear there are some devices available you all know this there are some devices they fix uh, so that they can hear sound so so if like what intensity sound you should adjust all that you will come to know if you join these courses then next course is bachelor's in optometry and ophthalmic technologies optometry means uh, lens makers like glass you know when you 
where spectacle with a point like plus and minus you talk about who will design that particular uh, glass for you that is uh, definitely optometry then ophthalmology is uh, about expert in studying uh, and treating eyes no that is ophthalmology means study of eyes so uh, what problem is there in the eye all that will be detected by op optometry can give solution to that ophthalmology can uh, have a study of that so then bachelors in public health some diseases spread like uh, malaria dengue chikungunya uh, so we should think about how to control these diseases because it will spread to the whole city so if you get this degree bachelors in public health so you will be involved in controlling these diseases you will give the control measures what all control measures are there all that can be decided by this so all these courses what i am talking about today the 30 courses these are called paramedical courses para means you know associated with not pure medical like mbbs and bds but these are required in hospitals and these are helpful for treating people so these are called associated uh, courses with medicine that is paramedical courses fifth course we are talking about bachelors in audiology no audiology means same what i was talking about before that is they will uh, uh, get medis uh, they'll get uh, devices to be fixed in the ears so that they can hear sound this is for deaf people next is a uh, speech and language therapy some kids in lkg or ukg they can't speak properly okay they will have some problem in speech can be corrected by learning these courses so you'll be expert in uh, correcting these problems sixth course is bachelor's in physician assistantship training you know physician means doctors you will be assisting doctors not exactly nurse uh, it will be assisting the doctors you will be helping them in their procedure seventh course is bachelor's in prosthetics and orthotics this is like fixing artificial body parts like it can be implants in the body implants or it can be artificial limb like some people lose their hands legs or fingers you will be fixing them artificial hands or artificial limbs eighth course is bachelor's in rehabilitation therapy you know this rehabilitation means some people are addicted to smoking some are addicted to drinks i mean alcohol some are addicted to drugs so how to come out of that you will be giving a uh, therapy or training for them that is called rehabilitation therapy ninth course is bsc in anatomy this is bachelor of science in anatomy you know anatomy refers to studying internal structure of our body that is if you learn about internal parts or internal organs of the body then it is called anatomy so if you are interested in studying or knowing internal parts of our body you can join bsc anatomy 10th course is bsc in blood banking technology you know this by the words you can guess how to maintain blood bank you know nowadays they are not selling blood for money because like if you have money you cannot buy blood there now in the host all the hospitals in india they maintain one procedure uh, if you don't know that procedure i am going to tell you now that is if you take two bottle blood from blood bank you have to replace it meaning like suppose my father is admitted to hospital and i have used two bottles of blood from blood bank any of my family members should donate two bottles of blood so that it will be replenished like i took two bottles of blood from the blood bank and i have to give two bottles of blood to blood bank so that is how blood bank works so how to manage blood bank what chemicals should be added to blood you have to add chemicals to blood while storing because you know if blood comes out of the body then it will clot you know that blood bleeding stops clotting can be prevented in the uh, bottles how it is prevented so for that chemicals are there like heparin is a chemical should be added all the techno um, techniques you will learn in blood banking uh, technology next course bsc in cardiac technology you know cardiology means study of heart heart diseases cardiac technology so you will be helping a cardiologist or heart specialist so you have lot of importance because uh, expert or specialized doctors will not be there with the patients all the time so someone has to take care of those patients in the absence of doctors so they should have knowledge of what doctors have so definitely 
you will be preferred there so you will have very high demand uh, in the medicine so next course bsc in cardiovascular technology cardiology means study of heart or heart disease vascular means conducting tissues or transporting tissues like you will be learning about blood vessels blood vessels or arteries how blood flows through blood vessels if there is a blockage in uh, blood vessels how to remove that block how to remove the clot in blood vessels all that you will be learning in cardiovascular technologies that deals with blood vessels which is supplying blood and taking blood or away from heart so next course we are seeing dialysis technology you know dialysis means it is also called artificial kidney like if both the kidneys in a patient fails then he will be connected to artificial device that is called dialysis Uh, in other words dialysis meaning is filtration of blood whatever nitrogenous waste is there in the blood it will be removed because if both the kidneys fails the patient should wait till he gets kidney donors someone should be ready to uh, donate kidney till that uh, he will be connected to artificial kidney so that he will survive next bsc emergency and critical care technologies under emergency conditions like some uh, patients will be brought to hospitals and for emergency like accident cases or heart attack uh, cases you know immediately they require care and treatment so you will be uh, expert in these uh, fields if you go for uh, critical care and intensive care technologies next bsc in endoscopy and gastrointestinal imaging endoscopy means uh, the, uh, knowing uh, within the knowing what is there in the stomach uh, especially they will send a tube through oral cavity or through mouth it will have a camera so so that w- what exactly is there in the stomach you can see on the screen because the tube what they send through your oral cavity or mouth uh, cavity that is it will have a camera so it will show what exactly is there in the stomach so you know sometimes doctors will advise you to go in empty stomach because if food is there in the stomach camera cannot uh, uh, capture the inner wall of the stomach then gastrointestinal what we call git means gastro means stomach stomach and intestine if any block is there or some problem is there in the stomach and intestine it can be detected uh, for that uh, they use endoscopy that is a device used to Uh, visualize or to see what is there in the stomach and intestine next bsc in genetics the later you can join for msc in genetics and you can do phd in genetics you know genetics name only suggests it is study of genes genes dna and uh, inheritance you know inheritance means transfer of characters from parents to offspring like we get characters from our parents through genes if you have to study how the genes work in our body how the dna structure is then about variation variation means change meaning what percentage i am different from my parents because i don't look exactly same like my father or mother we get uh, genes from two different sources you know we are produced by father's sperm and mother's egg so they contribute uh, 23 chromosomes each so if you have to if you are interested in studying about genes or chromosomes or dna you have to join bsc genetics then bsc in medical imaging technology this is like scanning uh, technologies you know ct scan computed tomography in short ct then mri scanning you have heard you know magnetic resonance imaging this is it will tell you exactly what is wrong in your body like you will get the images of your body parts like you know x ray has some limitations x rays can pass through softer tissues like muscles blood blood vessels but it doesn't pass through bones so that you can get image of bone if any bone fracture is there by x ray you can detect but for if you want to get higher uh, information or more information you want on any body parts then doctors suggest ct scan that is computed tomography and one more is there that is mri scanning i told you magnetic resonance imaging so if you go for just one uh, mri they will cost it will cost you 6000 or 8000 so you can imagine how much you can earn uh, by joining these courses
नाइनटीन कोर्स वी टॉक अबाउट बी एस सी इन ऑर्थोपेडिक टेक्नोलॉजी देर आर सम फ्रैक्चर्स और यू हैव अ जॉइंट पेन देर आर सम एक्सपर्ट्स दे आर कॉल्ड ऑर्थोपेडिशियन और ऑर्थोपेडिक्स और दे आर स्पेशलाइज इन ट्रीटिंग डिसीजेस लाइक आर्थराइटिस और जॉइंट पेन ऑल दैट सो लॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस इज देयर बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ओल्ड एज पीपल विल सफर फ्रॉम दीज प्रॉब्लम्स सो यू विल बी ट्रीटिंग दोज पेशेंट्स ट्वेंटी एथ कोर्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्स बी एस सी इन मेडिकल लेबोरेटरी टेक्नोलॉजी इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल एम एल टी कोर्सेस नो इट हैज लॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस यू सी दैट सम डिसीजेस जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट द पेशेंट यू कैनॉट डिटेक्ट द डिसीज सो यू विल हैव टू डॉक्टर्स विल सजेस्ट यू टू गो फॉर ब्लड टेस्ट और यूरिन टेस्ट और स्टूल टेस्ट सो दैट दे कैन नो मोर अबाउट वॉट इज रॉन्ग इन द बॉडी लाइक यू नो देर आर सम ब्लड टेस्टिंग सेंटर्स so if you have this mlt course you will get the license to open these uh, laboratories because without these courses these are diploma courses or degree courses if you have mlt certificate that is uh, medical laboratory technology certificates only then you have a license to open these uh, testing centers you can imagine around uh, 40 to 50 minimum i am talking about around 40 to 50 uh, patients come for uh, screening blood screening or blood test Uh, and for each patient they charge around 2 to 3000 then you can imagine per day they earn in lakhs so next course that is 21st course we are discussing bsc in medical microbiology you know microbiology is study of microbes or microorganisms like you will learn about bacteria virus then bacteriophage all that in in the hospitals there will be a separate branch where microbiology branch you know where uh, they will Uh, detects which microorganisms cause that disease so definitely medical microbiology has lot of importance in detecting the diseases 22nd course bsc in medical record science this is like uh, soft lab what we say you know wet lab means where we handle chemicals we touch some chemicals this is soft lab means you will be like a uh, uh, librarian how librarian maintains uh, books in the library like that you will maintain records or files in Uh, hospitals very important because if the doctor uh, have to ask for any case history or if the patient comes for any case history uh, with their uh, patient number you can get the data or get the file so that that is very important so you will be expert so entire hospital depends on the files uh, or uh, patient uh, case history so you will be expert in that next course is bsc in nuclear medicine and radiotherapy technologies cancer patients uh, can be treated by three different ways one way is radiotherapy that is you will handle a gamma rays so that gamma rays can kill uh, cancer cells that is tumor cells can be killed by gamma rays you should know the what intensity gamma rays you should pass on that particular tumor or that particular cancer because if intensity of gamma rays is more it can cause damage to neighboring healthy cells like it it is like de- in, instead of decreasing a uh, problem you increased it so you have to know exact intensity to focus that particular tumor so as to kill the tumor so you need lot of expertise in this uh, radiotherapy technology so if you have to treat cancer patients definitely uh, Uh, you have lot of importance in this branch 24th bsc operation theater and anesthesia technology doctors uh, ask some experts to keep operation theater ready because doctors will come directly they'll start the operation before you start the operation lot of procedures are there you have to keep operation theater ready so there are some people required there they can keep operation theater ready anesthesia experts like we call anesthetist like they will keep anesthesia uh, injection ready they will keep operation theater ready so entire hospital and uh, before starting the operation they depend on these experts so if you join these courses you will be assisting doctors and uh, you will be keeping operation theater ready 25th course bsc paramedical technology i told you all these courses what we are talking about all 30 courses they come under paramedical courses like they are associated courses with medical or medicine so paramedical course you will be we will be talking about nursing courses especially like bsc in nursing uh, okay so that have lot of demand now you don't find any people having uh, 
paramedical course sitting at home without job that is not at all possible every uh, i mean every student who gets into this courses they will end up with very good uh, salaried job 26th uh, course is bsc perfusion technology this is again perfusion technologies associated with blood vessels so blood transfusion you know blood transfusion blood from the blood banks blood will be given to patients so while giving uh, blood to patients they have to set the rate of blood flow uh, you know that they have they will set flow of blood the speed of flow of blood all that will be set by perfusion technology as yes, 27th course is bsc physiology physiology means all the processes in our body we call them life processes like digestion respiration excretion all that together all the processes what is happening in my body together it is called physiology so if you have to learn about physiology then you will have to join bsc physiology courses here not only animal physiology is taught here plant physiology also they teach that is uh, like what all processes happen in plants that is photosynthesis respiration mineral nutrition all that they learn but as this course is related to medicine more of animal related physiology topics will be there so if you are interested in this definitely you can join these courses 28th course is bsc in radiology and imaging technology radiology means you know it is talking about uh, gamma rays treating cancer patients with gamma rays so it needs expertise then imaging technology is nothing but scanning centers like scanning ct scan mri scan all that 29th course is bsc in radiotherapy technology this is again radiotherapy means it is treating cancer patients now cancer patients can be treated by three different ways one is surgery that that to only in first stage surgery by operation they can remove that tumor they can cut and remove that tumor from the body and uh, second method is radiotherapy that is passing gamma rays so if you go join this course that is bsc in radiotherapy you will be treating patients and you will be killing the cancer cells by passing gamma rays and third method was chemotherapy that is by treating with high dose chemicals or high dose drugs that is medicines they can treat so you will be treating cancer patients with gamma rays so you'll be expert in handling gamma rays the last one that is 30th is bsc respiratory care technology you know uh, Uh, during covid times like uh, when th- they had breathing difficulty they were connected to uh, artificial uh, ventilator you know that is oxygen cylinders will supply oxygen to their lungs so during that uh, that time someone has to handle that uh, uh, ventilator so that will be uh, respiratory care technology even in icu also intensive care unit every second that p- uh, patient should be administered or he should be monitored so for the continuous monitoring uh, he should be connected to that uh, breathing device for continuous oxygen supply so you will be expert in that so these are the 30 courses available uh, so that uh, you can join top medical colleges without neat so i request you to prepare for neat and uh, uh, put your 100% effort uh, like if you get into very good um, medical colleges with mbbs bds it is fine in case if you can't get into these courses no need to worry you have top uh, medical courses what i listed now 30 uh, courses without need also you can join so all the best so but keep watching uh, cfl uh, youtube videos so that you you get lot of information on other courses also regarding engineering or you want to know about any particular topic in uh, biology or any subject there are so many videos uploaded so keep watching cfl youtube channel and uh, please subscribe our youtube channel just type cfl in uh, center for advanced learning in youtube so you will get youtube videos please subscribe share share with your friends if they if the some if some students don't know what are the courses available without neat but still they want to join medical courses then definitely it will help them okay thank you very much